Now here's some good exercises you can do to help yourself or stretches, whatever you want to call it. Uh, even if you're at the doctor's office, you can do something like this. You grab a magazine, bring it over to you. I place it out like this. Then what I do, take this corner page, fold it over a little bit so I can pick it up with my weak hand and bring it over. Well, you can do this. Here you are exercising your left side. You're using your left side because it's weak. You want to use it as much as you can. So you go ahead and do this right at the doctor's office. Be very good for you. If you want to read a few pages, go ahead and read them. But then turn over as many as you can while you're waiting for it. Then if you wanted to, also give yourself a good stretch with your cane, if you have a cane. And when you give a good stretch, go down with your head. Go down as far as you can with your head to go forward. Going down with your head helps stretch this shoulder out for you as far as it can go. It's a very good stretch for you. Actually, another thing you do with your shoulder blades is take your arms and go back. Hold it back there, go back as far as you can. Hold it 1,002, 1,003, 1,004. Then take a rest. Do it again if you want to. 1,001, 1,002. 1,003, 1,004, there you are. Now take a deep breath, hold it, blow it out, do it again. Blow it out, that's something you could do five, six times a day. It's very healthy for you to get that oxygen in you. to just push my blades back one more time. Another thing you can do, this is something you learned right out of the hospital. Maybe a person came to your home and helped you do this one. Put your hands over your shoulder, over your ear I mean. Over your ear on this side, do it a few times. Go over to the other side. Do that a few times. You want to crisscross. Whatever you want to do. Go slow. Actually going slow is a lot better for you. It has more chance of your mind picking up the message, I think. 